Hello YouTube, today I'm in Kerbal Space Program and I'm starting a new whole load of tutorials and things for my channel basically. Because um, the old ones were a bit old and I've got some better equipment now and things like that so I can make it sound a lot nicer and generally be a bit nicer to watch. I've also increased the user interface size and things to make it a little bit nicer to watch again and easier to follow as well. So this tutorial, as you may have guessed by the title, is on putting something into an orbit, a reasonably circular orbit, but it's not going to be too picky, and it's going to be a reasonably basic tutorial. I'm not going to presume you know anything anything too difficult, essentially. So you can see here, if you've played the game a lot, this rocket here is one of the stock rockets, so you don't even have to build anything for this tutorial, and it is called the Z-Map Satellite Launch Kit. So this lets you make um, put this little satellite into orbit, basically, that's the whole idea. Anyway, the first thing we need to do is hold down shift to throttle up. In case you don't know, control and shift are what you use to, to control the throttle. You can also hit X to cut the throttle if you need to turn it off really quickly. And um, we're going to hit T because that turns on stability control or SAS. And you'll know if that's on because there's a light that appears on your nav ball, which is this thing here. Anyway. This rocket actually appears to not launch all of its rockets at once at the same time as it splits off, so we're going to set it so it does by moving all of the uh, rockets that we want to go at the start into this first stage here. And then we're ready to go, so all we need to do is hit space. So now we're literally just, um, you know, waiting for the rocket to get to a certain altitude. I think we're going to go about 10 kilometers, that's the sort of standard. Um, distance that we go in height and then we're going to start doing what's called a gravity turn which is essentially the most efficient way of uh, pitching uh, to the side we're going to pitch eastwards and you know getting yourself um, some horizontal velocity so I'm not going to go too much detail into that but uh, I'll show you what you have to do so we're just going full throttle at the moment this isn't really the most efficient way to do things we could go you know, cut the throttle a little bit like I'm doing now because the air is still quite thick at this point and it's not really worth wasting all that fuel pushing through the really thick air when you could go a little bit slower and save quite a lot more fuel. Anyway, now we get to 10 kilometers up, so 10,000 meters up, and we're just going to start to use the D key to pitch or tilt over to around 45 degrees. Um, you start your tilt at around 10 kilometers. It doesn't matter though if you're a bit later than that. You don't want to go much earlier than that though, because uh, then it just starts to become inefficient. So we're going to tilt to 45 degrees, like you can see there, it's at around 45 degrees. And you know that by the fact that it's on the 45 degrees ring around the nav ball, which you can see I'm on now. That green marker there, that's our prograde vector. That essentially is the direction on the nav ball that our ship is actually traveling rather than the direction it's pointing because gravity is pulling us down a little bit so we're going a little bit more downwards than uh, we are actually pointing but don't worry about that we just need to keep pointing this way and now I'm gonna hit M and that'll take me into the map view I can click on that little arrow there to bring up this um, nav ball again and yep everything's looking pretty good so now we're gonna have a look at our um, trajectory. This is what our orbit actually looks like, although it's not really an orbit yet. And what we're essentially doing is keeping on burning in the same direction till our apoapsis, which is the highest predicted point in our orbit, gets to above 70 kilometers, because that's where the atmosphere stops. But we're going to go for around 85, 86, there we go. Looks pretty good. And uh, then all we're going to do is uh, wait, basically, until we get a lot closer. Now you'll see I'm not actually hovering over the apoapsis there to make it appear you can actually just click on it as long as you don't have that little circle on the um, project trajectory then uh, you don't you know then you can just click on it uh, when it goes a little bit bigger like that and you can toggle whether you can see it without hovering over it which is kind of useful anyway if you look out of the map view now you'll see our rocket and we're running out of fuel in this first stage but uh, that doesn't really matter we've got plenty of fuel and plenty of delta V, which is essentially the amount that you can change your velocity or the amount you can speed yourself up or slow yourself down. So the reason we went uh, eastwards is because Kerbin, or it's the same in real life with Earth, rotates from the west to the east. It rotates um, easterly, essentially. So in, in west to east orbit is most efficient because you use the Earth's or Kerbin's rotation to actually help push yourself. 
Now, you may have seen um, in other tutorials people using maneuver nodes, which is when you click on your orbit and add a maneuver like this. But actually, I find the easiest way to get a circular orbit is without maneuver nodes, and that's just by waiting till you get to basically when your prograde marker on the nav ball starts to touch the horizon, which is the bit where the blue part and the orange part cross. When it starts to touch that, you want to start burning um, basically along the horizon. So, you need to keep doing that and uh, keep a good eye on your apoapsis and watch your orbit. Now if your apoapsis is still quite far away from you, you can tilt down a little bit to pull it towards you. And if it starts to get a bit too close to you or even goes behind where your ship is, then you're going to need to um, pitch upwards a little bit or point yourself up away from Kerbin a little bit to push it away from you like I'm doing now. Anyway, you need to keep that just pretty much around where you are. If you can get it perfectly on your ship, then that's perfect, but it doesn't matter too much if it's not quite there. Um, it's usually better if it's a little bit in front than it is a little bit behind, because it's easier to bring it towards you than it is to push it away from you. And now you'll see there our periapsis has appeared, which is the lowest predicted point in our orbit. And we just need to keep burning just gently until those start to rapidly spin around, which means that we've got a pretty circular orbit. That means that they're trying to swap places because this was the highest point in our orbit, but now it's becoming the lowest point in our orbit because uh, we're pushing our highest point away by burning like that, you see? So the more I burn now, if I burn at my periapsis, I'll increase my apoapsis. And if I burn at my apoapsis, I'll increase my periapsis. But I'll go maybe do another um, video on basic orbiting later on. That's it for this tutorial though, um, I hope it helped you. If it did, did, then it'd be awesome if you could give this video a thumbs up or a favourite, because that really helps me. And uh, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.